So hello and welcome back to another video and today we've got some Dutch coins with the Netherlands. So we've got all different periods, we've got Dutch East Indies, which is Indonesia, uh, got some more, and we've got some last issue coins and we have some in between. So I'll separate them and we'll go through them. So I've separated the coins and we have two different series. So we have the ones used in the Netherlands. So this is the last series. And this is the mid series. Uh, then we have Netherlands Indies. And then we have the Caribbean. So if we look at the last issue of the Netherlands, they issued five cents. So this is a five cent coin here. Most of these are pretty common. So this one here it's frosted so this is a proof these come from a proof this one might come from an uncirculated set uh, or it might be from a proof so these are 1990 2000 i'm not too sure how many proofs okay from 2000 is 15,000 proofs and from 1990 there is uh, 15,000 as well so proofs are not too unheard of uh, so not too sure why someone would have taken these out 25 cent another proof coin you can tell the frosting on top of the date as well as on top of the squares there as well as the effigy so it's very interesting here we have a high grade coin from 2000 a five golden yeah if you can hear music in the background and neighbors trying to play guitar so this one only has a mintage of 385,000. So uh, in this condition, you're probably paying at least $10. Uh, but I think it's also from a proof. If it is a proof coin, yeah, it looks like it's frosted. It's a proof coin in 15,000. Okay, here we have a 1984. Yeah, it's probably just a circulate coin, two and a half golden. At the time, the exchange rate is about 1.3 golden because one Australian dollar 95 one golden copper nickel. I used to like these coins, but now I'm just so used to it. I've pretty much gotten over it. So that's those. So how much would that set cost? Yeah, probably probably at least ten dollars if you want to buy a set like that. Uh, but you can get the actual uncirculated sets for probably at least twenty dollars. Okay, so then we have the coins that were issued. Uh, between 1950 and 1980 so these are in circulation for 30 years so we had the one cent and then we had the five cent so that's those two coins that's the last issue so here we have the one cent five cent so these are all nickel coins uh, 10 and 25 cent one golden and two and a half golden and if you look on numistar they only issued the two and a half gold in 1969. So 1970 is the second issue, and it has a mintage of uh, 22 million. So they didn't issue these every year, but as you can see, this one's in pretty good condition. And on the obverse, so this is the front of the coin, uh, we have Juliana, the Queen of the Netherlands. And then we have two common commemorative coins so i made another video on these so this is the handover of the monarch 1980 and a half golden uh, and here's the two queens there so beatrix is the new queen and this one is a 1579 to 1979 so it's a nice yeah circulate commemorative coin so here we have uh, the coins issued before the second world war so during the second world war they used these zinc coins so here's the one cent and the ten cent uh, these were the ten cent was taken out of circulation in 1945 and replaced with a silver coin uh, the one cent continued to circulate until 1948 which time they issued these coins so they only issued one, five, ten, and twenty-five cent. So that's the whole series. And I like this effigy of 
between Wilhelmina. Okay, so here's those coins and the earlier coins, as you can see, uh, the five cent was a bit different. So here it is a square coin, and early after the war they issued a round coin. So there is a half a cent, so these are all common. Uh, there is a one cent, a two and a half cent. So after the second world war, they didn't bother issuing a half cent and two and a half cent. Uh, there is a half golden coin, as you can see there. So this is a silver value of a bit over five dollars, and this one a dollar. So if you want a dollar, they issued silver coins again. Uh, the dollar will be quite a small coin. And if we look at the five cent, you can see it's quite a nice design. So if you get any of these issued after 1941, uh, they are issued in the Caribbean, and they issued them in the Netherlands Antilles up until 1970. Pretty much the same design. And there you go. So these coins you flip around. And the half golden, 1921, so they didn't issue this denomination after 1930. Pretty much the 1930s, this would have fallen out of circulation. Has the coat of arms and it just has the effigy. So that is pretty much why I got these coins, pretty much for that one there. And the two and a half golden, if we look at it close up, you can see two and a half. And this one's 1915, I think it's like three million of these. But usually they have a more high mintage. So two and a half cent coin. Very interesting. So then we have the coins from the Netherlands Antilles. So this ceased to exist in 1911, uh, not 1911, 2011. God, that's over 100 years ago. So we have two one cents, we've got aluminium and we've got a bronze, we've got a silver, or the Gouda 1960. So this one probably costs about uh, five to ten dollars to buy. And then we have a one golden. So if you look at the bronze coin, and you can see it's 1971, it just has the coat of arms in the Netherlands Antilles. Then we have the quarter golden, so it's a pretty plain design. And it just has the effigies. The same one is issued for the Netherlands. Okay, oh, wrong one. Oh, where is it? Here it is. The same type of effigy. And then we have the one golden. So this is this one that's in circulation, uh, but they changed the monarch 2009, and I don't have this one. So vertex, and there they, they have a, a king. Can't remember his name. I could look him up, but I don't want to. Anyway, that one's probably worth about five dollars if you were to buy an individual coin. So here we have the coins from the Netherlands Indies. So these circulated up into after the Second World War. Uh, during the Second World War, they issued paper banknotes. I could see these were withdrawn, but after the Second World War, uh, these two here, the quarter, were issued for circulation. So this 10 cent has S for San Francisco, so San Francisco, and P for Philadelphia. And we have this coin that's a pre-decimal coin. So this is a DeWitt 1890. Okay, so this is the Dutch GC his company logo. And on this side we have uh, the coat of arms of one of the provinces, so I'm not too sure which one that is. I will have to look it up. Uh, this coin's pretty much buggered. It's so corroded. Uh, it's not really worth that much. So it looks like 19 something, 1920 I think. And then we have these two coins, so these are the same issue. 1942p for Philadelphia again. And here we have Indonesian or Malay in the center. And we have uh, Javanese are in the side. Beautiful. That's probably worth about two or three dollars. Then we have a large 20 cent, uh, two and a half cents, should I say, for 1920. Quite a large coin. I need to find out the mintage figures for that one. Okay, so this one has a mintage of 48 million. Uh, compared to 
1945, which had a mintage of 200 million. So that's quite a nice coin. I do like that. Uh, then with the five cent, so this one was in 1922. Uh, that was the last year of issue of this denomination. So pretty much an issue date, two and a half cent and a ten cent. And if we look at this side, that looks nice. So we have uh, Japanese up top and Malay down the bottom. And on this side, we just have the crown. So 1922, I had a mintage of 20 million. Uh, the more common one is the 1913. So, and then we have the, the 10 cent and the two and a half. So that's the coat of arms. So this one sells for at least you know, probably 20 to $30 in that condition. Uh, in this condition, yeah, probably at least $20. But this one has thigh crack. So if you look at the date, you can see there is a die crack that goes right down there. That's what I'm looking for. So, so uh, looks like there's a crack there as well. So that's basically what you're looking for in these coins. Uh, if you want to increase the value. This one's pretty much uncirculated. And if you look at the 1942, you can see it's toned. Uh, so pretty much this is a... Probably a five to ten dollar coin. Anyway, I hope you enjoy my coin searches. I do like going through coin lots that I do get and uh, just looking for value for coins that I have purchased. Uh, so if you need to purchase any of these coins, I'll leave a link down below to eBay. That's where I get all mine. That's how I've got my collection. And take care out there. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and also have an awesome Batman and coin collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.